it's Sophie. Um, I'm writing, not writing, <laughs> I am going to talk about what it's like in a mental hospital, mental health hospital um, in England. Um, specifically about a psychiatric intensive care unit, also known as a PQ. Um, hold on. Yeah, in a PQ. Um, so, I think I was there for about altogether what, eight, seven, eight months? Um, yeah. Uh, what was it like? Um, there was no handles anywhere. Um, there was no taps, you had to have a touch sensitive tap. Um, there was um, a machine with cold water and warm hot water um, because it couldn't be too hot, you didn't have access to a kettle or anything like that because of the burning um, risk. Um, and there was only so much tea out, like tea bags and sugar um, because otherwise people would try to drink a lot of caffeine to affect their heart. So that was, um, that was, yeah, a bit weird. The TV was put in a um, big box, a big plastic box, which you couldn't get into, it was locked. Um, so, um, yeah, so you couldn't smash it um, and use the glass to hurt yourself or swallow or things like that. Um, then, what else? The staff had control of the remote and bring it into the staff office. Um, yeah, so you didn't have access to batteries. Um, the windows would only open so far and it was mesh as well. So even if you did smash the window, you couldn't get out because of the um, kind of, I don't know how to describe it, the security thing outside the window. Um, and it's like, I think like half an hour a day, you were allowed access to the garden. Um, it was quite weird. Um, so you'd pass through another ward, go down the stairs, and um, and you'd go into this garden. It was just grass, um, and with like a basketball hoop, and you're allowed balls sometimes. Things out to play basketball. It's quite nice, but the it was there was this green non climbable fence. So like the holes are that big, so you couldn't get your foot or anything like that in. Um, and they were ridiculously high, um, really, really high up. Yeah, really high up. So you couldn't get up it or anything like that and escape. Um, you, um, what else was it like? Curtains and things like that. Um, if you pulled them a little bit, they'd come down, so you couldn't ligature with that. Um, you weren't allowed... To, I had a teddy. Um, where is she? Hmm. I don't know where my teddy is, but um, it was one like this, but there was a hole in this part of it, and they wouldn't let me have my teddy because... Um, because a risk of putting things, storing things in my teddy and then bringing them back um, and using them to end my life or hurt myself. Um, yeah, uh, I was in... Um, yeah, I can be in... I was nursed every like five minutes and... Um, so they check me every five minutes, which is quite intrusive. Um, but... Bear in mind, previously, it was constant two, two people on me sit at once at home. Um, yeah, so basically my mum would, and my dad would um, watch me at all times. And I had my sister, so if one needed a break, the other one came. It was exhausting, and I'd be sleeping in the same bed as my mum and dad. And 
um, they would watch me on the toilet and my sister would watch me while I slept and take knives out of my pillow. Um, yeah, it was not great. It was horrible. Um, they got a lot of trauma from it. Um, yeah, but anyway. Um, so yeah, psychiatric, psychiatric intensive care. Yeah. Um, there was therapy. The staff were very nice. Um, if you didn't... Also, the music channel was on all the time. Sometimes it was Hollyoaks, but generally it was music channel. So loads of songs just remind me of that. Um, yeah. Uh, if you refuse your meds, they can inject you with them. They also come in lantapine, which is this drug, and it makes you so hungry. And bearing in mind I had anorexia when I was, like, previous, um, it fucked things up. Um, I gained 40 kilograms, four zero kilograms, um, and... Like, my parents, my family, not just my parents, my family was really, like, um, critical of that um, and fed a lot into my eating disordered thoughts and, pro like, core beliefs. Um, yeah. So, and then if you, like, refuse meds, they would, or if you were very, like, distressed and screaming and banging your head on a wall and... Um, cutting and ligaturing and um, scratching yourself like that and then bleeding and um, or maybe hitting staff which I never did but I know some people did um, yeah if you didn't need that they would pin you down um, and pull your pants down and re um, inject a tablet thing liquid tablet thing in your bum um, which would kind of knock you out um, and then you'd be asleep for a while um, yeah it was weird um, and there was like a traffic light system where if you would hurt yourself or try to end your life um, you would be on red but after two days you'd be back on orange which I think meant you could go outside in the garden and then two, if you good for another two days it meant you could go out on leave which means you could leave the hospital for a little bit um and in cams units the funding's really good for activities so we'd go to the cinema we'd go bowling we'd go um to the zoos um yeah it was really really nice um it was the only kind of nice part of it um, and all the friends you made, like, I've still got loads of friends now. Um, yeah. I can't really think of anything else in a psychiatric hospital. Um, yeah, you weren't allowed any cords, like, or the string from your, like, your, like, this here. That, that would have to be pulled out of your tops and kept and things like that. Um, yeah. So that's my experience with the PQ. Um, hope you found it interesting. I'll be making some more videos too.